Um, good evening. Uh, good evening, members of the Hamilton Wedford District School Board Program. My name is Michael Wolf, and I'm a grade 10 student from the Bay Area. Earlier this year, I entered a Nikola Tesla inspired science fair project into our regional science fair, the Bay Area Science and Engineering Fair. Uh, from that fair, I won several engineering awards, a gold medal, the second best in fair, a trip to the International Science and Engineering Fair to represent Canada among 70 countries, and a Nikola Tesla Innovation Award. In this project, I created an electric vehicle energy recovery and safety enhancement system. At the core of this system was a descendant of an invention that Nikola Tesla pioneered and is used in many areas in many places today, a three-phase AC induction motor. The, uh, the motor actually, after testing, it was the only design powerful enough to run my system. This project is the result of a fascination with Tesla that started many years ago. Originally, it actually occurred with uh, my mom, who actually is a teacher, and she taught, teaches me about research management and goal setting, and she actually put some of Tesla's history into a general curriculum for home study. And, act, and uh, also, down a few years on the road, another trigger event, uh, was actually uh, when well, my grandfather, who is an entrepreneur, inventor, and engineer, introduced me to Tesla's famous Tesla coil, which can actually transmit power without wires. I was intrigued that such a phenomenon could exist. I mean, you could actually uh, transport power from one place to another with no media in between. And uh, originally, I wanted to build like a six-foot variant, like a bit, a bit bigger than the one over there. Uh, but uh, because of the large scale, I was encouraged to produce a small scale model by my parents and the professors at McMaster University. That was four years ago. Since then, I have entered several Tesla based science fair projects into the regional science fair and have won several awards as well as traveling to the national and now international fair several times. Actually, and also, I won a Nikola Tesla Innovation Award every year. My Tesla-driven curiosity has now enabled me to actually be able to compete at the national and international levels of science fair, boosting my confidence as I had learned a lot about hard work and the power of passion for science. And it, well, also, experiences like these have motivated me to pursue STEM further and explore the playground that is our universe. I strongly recommend the science fair for all students. It has also helped me keep, taught me persistence and commitment, going back to the drawing board 50 times, uh, troubleshooting very carefully after like one calculation well. And also, during this process, I've learned two very important things. One is that if you, so if you want to accomplish a goal, envision it, and then carefully plan out how you're going to accomplish it. And then if something doesn't go your way, work hard and you will accomplish your goal. But secondly, secondly, and more importantly, I realized that when you are passionate about something, it shows through and can inspire others. But if others were not inspired in the first place, like I was through my grandfather and mother, by using Tesla's work, well, how will they ever unlock their potential? If not the family members, then who? Nikola Tesla was a brilliant man, inventor, humanitarian, and visionary. His skills was driven by an untamable curiosity that allowed him to look to the future, to see the future, and then reach beyond, look, or reach beyond and invent it. He was a pioneer in electricity and wanted to make the world a better place using his revolutionary inventions. His eyes and mind was running from one idea to the next, and his work to bear mankind comes from that, that work comes technologies that will improve the quality of life for many and have advanced science. Several of his key inventions include the AC induction motor, the transformer, te the Tesla coil, radio control, the radio x-rays, Warren Cliff Tower for free energy, and hydroelectric power from Niagara Falls. Another key example of this influence is Hamilton itself. Hamilton was first called the electric city because it was the first city in Canada to incorporate Tesla's AC power. He is a part of this city's heritage and inspired me to push the limit, never stop creating, and explore the world around us in order to make it better. I've always believed that there are hidden Teslas all around us with the potential to change the future, but they need to be inspired. In order to unlock this potential, their passion and create a spark must be ignited. Mine was ignited. My passion and spark was ignited through Tesla's work. 
And I believe that as this work was better known, to honor Hamilton's heritage and to reach the uh, hidden Teslas of tomorrow through the education curriculum, it, it, a wildfire would erupt with inspiration, curiosity, wonder, and a, des and a widespread desire to go the distance and change the future. Thank you. That was phenomenal. And so, are you sure you have won a number of oral competition awards <laughs> and doing speeches, perhaps? Because that was fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your passion with us and what you've um, gained from learning about Tesla and how that's motivated you to go further. I'll look at trustees to see if you have any questions for clarification for Michael. Mary? Just a quick statement. Uh, I know uh, when I look at my own girls, this is the passion that I hope that they will get out of their education is that they are so excited about something and they can't stop thinking about it. So I want to thank you for, you know, it's not easy to come and speak in public, and I want to thank you for, for presenting to us and inspiring us to uh, you know, remind us what we want our kids to get out of their education. It's a, it's a pleasure. Thank you for uh, thank you for all the work. Uh, thank you for sharing this. Okay. I think just echoing that, I mean, it's nothing greater than to see a, you know, a student up there that full, full of passion and yes, I mean, hope for that for all of our students. So um, a quick question. So at what age did you develop this passion? Obviously you had some growing up with your, some influences there, but at what age did you really kind of latch on to this passion? That would be, I have, that's 11. The year that I entered uh, my first science fair and I uh, actually went to the, I went to the with my actual Tesla coil. So you were 11 years old yes. when that? Yeah. Perfect. Well, I'm sure you have a bright future ahead of you, oh. no doubt. Sorry. Are there any other questions? Yeah, so thank you so much for your presentation.